Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and this time I've made you a short list about upcoming strategy games similar to Age of Empires. Let's start with Frozenheim. This is a Norse city builder game with nice management mechanics and multiple progression trees where you maintain and expand your settlement. As you launch exploration parties on foot and by boats, you will not only discover resources you can exploit, but also draw the attention of the enemies who seek to destroy you. This is a really bloody RTS game where you have a chance to chop your enemies like butter, or hide like a coward behind huge wooden walls and towers filled with archers so you could fill attack attacking enemies with your stingy arrows, or if you lack arrows, you can safely swear at them and call the attackers and their mamas fat. To prove yourself an earl worthy of songs and sagas, you will build and expand a viking village from nothing to a rich, unconquerable settlement, or very conquerable and puny, and you will have to load the game and play again, but this time without stupid decisions. Here you can forage, hunt, fish, grow your food and keep your clan safe as the seasons pass. Also seek the blessings of ancient shrines and build temples to win the favor of Asgard and all the Asgardians. Be castled. Although the game is in early access right now and you can buy and play it on Steam, the full version of the game will be released only someday in the year of 2023. So, what is Becastled? I played the game for a few hours and I was really impressed by the graphics, mechanics and the lightness of the game in general. And I do not mean the storage space it takes, which is also ridiculous for a modern game. One gigabyte of free space, that's all it takes to squeeze Becastled to your hard drive. But by saying light, I mean that it is easy to understand and easy to play. This is a game that doesn't contain any additional stuff that distracts you from the gameplay itself. Many developers Developers forget the main thing of gaming. Keep it simple, keep it fun. Take it from vodka makers, for example. Original flavor always sells best. Imagine if your vodka would also be a mayonnaise at the same time. You don't want that. Or maybe you do, maybe you even eat steak with ketchup or drink vodka with Coca-Cola. Blasphemy! Blasphemy! Nowadays you often install the game and there is a ton of stuff thrown to your face at once and you have to play an hour of tutorial to understand at least something, but not in the castle. This is a simple, nice and beautiful title, keep an eye on it. Farthest Frontier there is no video material of this game, only a few screenshots are available, so I would usually ignore such titles in my top videos, but this time it is different, because I accidentally saw who the developer of Farthest Frontier is. And that is Crate Entertainment, well known for his hit game Grim Dawn. Oh yeah, I have your attention now, do I? So here you will protect and guide your people as you forge a town from untamed wilderness at the edge of the known world, harvest raw materials, hunt fish and farm to make the best potato salad with the best doctor's sausage available, or merely sustain your advancing town. Produce craft items for villagers to trade, consume, equip and fight with as you battle for your survival against the elements of outside threats. These guard towers are here for a reason. I will keep an eye on this game and when there will be a trailer or more news, you will be first to know. Although you would need to subscribe to my channel for that. You will get various benefits for doing that as well, you'll start to know everything about your favorite games, you will stop getting bald and your hair will grow back. Or not, no promises, just hope. Manor Lords this is a real-time strategy game which aims to provide a gridless, organic city-building experience with full freedom of placement and rotation. Game's building mechanic is based on the growth of real medieval towns and villages, where major trade routes and landscape often influence how this settlement was shaped and developed. While the game is not set in a particular century, every building is inspired by historical references from mainly the Middle Ages of Europe. Yeah, we had a pretty awesome architecture back then. Also so we burned witches and thought that the sun was rotating around the earth. An entire continent of dimwits. In Manor Lords, fields must be plowed, iron bloomed, and the sheep herded on the open pastures governed by the lord of the manor. I guess it's you. So you will have to manage all the well-being and prosperity wisely, otherwise your people will be doomed and will die horribly as they do in every other game you touch. Game also aims to portray battles that feel real, with 
large-scale unit formations, morale, flanking, fatigue, weather and equipment. In example, your villagers can form a militia, like in Age of Empires or Warcraft 3, and an experienced crowd of dum-dums that can fend away some crippled wolf or a wandering pedophile away from town. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.